Here I'm going to show you some equations involving negative numbers and exponents that can be a bit tricky. Remember to use PEMDAS when solving. This will help to correctly solve our problem. Let's start out with this one. Negative 3 in the parentheses and the exponent outside of the parentheses. Now we're going to take what's in the parentheses and we're going to multiply itself together twice. So let's do that. We got negative 3 in the parentheses times negative 3 in parentheses. We did it two times because the exponent is the number 2. If the exponent was 3 or 4, then we would have multiplied this 3 or 4 times by itself. So let's solve. Negative 3 times negative 3 equals positive 9. Negative times a negative equals a positive. Now let's work on the next equation. Negative 3 squared. This time we don't have any parentheses. So let's solve this. Here's the tricky part. The negative sign isn't going to be affected by the exponent. Only the number 3 will be. If there had been a parentheses around both the negative and the 3, like in the last problem, then the exponent would have applied to both the negative and the 3. So let's square the number 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Now we bring down the negative, and our answer is negative 9. Next equation. We have a negative outside of the parentheses, then we have the number 3 in the parentheses, and the exponent outside of the parentheses. This is going to be just like the previous equation, it just looks a little bit different. The number will get squared, number 3. 3 times 3 equals 9, and then we bring down the negative, and the answer is negative 9. Now let's try one more. How about if we have negative outside the parentheses and a negative 3 sitting inside the parentheses and the exponent 2 on the outside? First we will deal with what's in the parentheses, so we will square the negative 3, which means negative 3 times negative 3, and that equals positive 9, since a negative times a negative equals a positive. Now we still have the negative sitting on the outside of the parentheses. What happens when we multiply a negative by a positive? We get a negative. So now that positive 9 changes to a negative 9. And that is our answer. Thank you